This update is for the 20th of June 2021 uh, for my friends out here in the Western Pacific. By the way, thank you very much for everybody who's been helping me out on Patreon with these updates, making them possible. If you like this, check out the link down below. All right, how about this video which was sent in from Okinawa from James Todd. Look at that lightning. They've been having some pretty decent storms along the rainy season front here on their evening of uh, their, their Saturday evening. Look at that. Yeah, that's some good lightning strikes there as well. Uh, he said they had a pretty decent storm. You can even see it on satellite imagery here. Look at that cloud cover just firing up right there. That is the island of Okinawa. Some of those thunderstorms coming across there all associated kind of with the rainy season front. By the way, south and east of that, that's this tropical wave, which I shouldn't even call it a tropical wave. It's more subtropical. It looks scary. And I think if we were in the month of uh, maybe August or September, this for sure would spin up. But right now, it's it's just getting absolutely pummeled by vertical wind shear. That's why you can see some of those cloud cover wisping off here towards the west and towards the south. That is those upper level winds coming in and wrapping around and just blasting that thing apart. But I, it looks pretty interesting. I think the big topic for today is our little invest area down here towards the south and east. And I'll talk more about that in just a second. But there's a look at your rainy season front, bringing those thunderstorms in Okinawa and southwestern areas of Japan and how about our five-day rainfall? I guess where the rainy season front is, right? I don't think you need to be a meteorologist to figure this one out. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, this is, whenever I say the rainy season front people, it doesn't click. And I think this visual representation of a five-day rainfall forecast, it, it clicks, doesn't it? Because it, it's not like one, it is a series of lows, one after another, but it's a front. It's a stationary boundary, and boy, it just... It is dominant and it's very, very apparent, creating some decent swells. So if you do get a little bit of a break in between some of those swells, uh, some of those storms, maybe in Okinawa, especially on the southern coast, you might have some decent swells coming out of it. How about this though? Our next area down here towards the south and east of Guam, that's Invest 94W, been labeled at this time. Tropical wave to watch. You know, it is going to move towards the north and west. Um, some guidance kind of does want to spin it up, specifically with the GFS, which has been decent lately, right near Guam and over towards Saipan before turning towards the north. So uh, some much needed rainfall in Guam in Saipan, but this is our good old SpaghettiOs. You know I like my SpaghettiOs here, and this kind of gives you an idea. And if you have all these clustered in one spot with the ensemble, it shows you that it does expect at least some sort of development. You can see that happening right over Guam and then shooting up towards the northwest south of the Ugosar Islands before that as well. It gets wrapped up with that good old rainy season front. But uh, Guam needs the rain. I know it's been dry there lately. So there you go. You could be looking at that as we head into this upcoming week. So some of the main points. Subtropical low in the rainy season front near uh, Okinawa. Uh, Guam on alert for a possible tropical disturbance. Check the National Weather Service in Guam. You know, you, they've been doing really good lately. They got some new blood in there and uh, the new guys are really killing it, especially in social media. And the monsoon continues out there in the Philippines. By the way, out there in the Philippines, this was sent in by Marlon. Uh, looks like a nice drone shot he took of the tall volcano and Oh, I absolutely love this shot. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise. This is award winning and he sent this to me via messenger. Thank you very much. If you guys ever have any photos or anything like that you want to share, please, um, please, please send them to me. I've actually, I've been getting a lot lately and I love the community. I, I absolutely love it. I love these guys too. Patreon. Um, if you guys want to help out here, that would be fantastic, especially these super typhoons. Uh, you know, Jacqueline, choking $20 a month to make these possible. I, I really can't thank you guys enough. You you're all legends. This is kind of what it is. Um, you get some behind the scenes looks if you sign up to this, but they think the big thing is um, the new graphics that are still in the works. They're, they're coming soon enough. Um, and even the computer I'm using to, to run this, because I had to get a new computer to kind of go with some of these upgrades. Uh, it's ridiculously expensive but it's a good one so we're, we're not gonna have any problems in the near future uh so yeah check that out in the link down below you know just check it out that's all i'm saying it really helps me out and hit that subscribe button if you want to actually i would really like that if you hit the subscribe button i want to get the hundred thousand um subscribers that that's my goal right now all right as always uh, thanks for watching and stay safe out there have a fantastic day